Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Old Car Auto Guy. My name is Jason. Thank you for stopping in and taking the time to watch this channel if you haven't done so yet. Please, go down and hit that red subscribe button, turn it gray, and hit that, no hit that bell notification. That way you get notified of every video that I upload. We are on our way to that goal of 1,000 subscribers. Stay tuned. So guys, today I wanted to give you an update on the progress or the end result of the 2013, sorry, 2014 Kia Sorento that came in that was really, really dirty. Junior had all the seats out, all the mats, everything was done. So today we're gonna take a look at the inside and let you know how it came out because I know a bunch of you were asking in the comments. So let's take a look. So besides the snow on the seats, you can see that the floor mats came out really, really well. And as we come up here into the dash compartment, you remember how grubby this was? Stained with coffee and grime. And then we'll go into the back seat. And there's the passenger side, and I'm not sure if you recall, but the side of that armrest was covered in Lord knows what. But down here on the floor, once again, very, very good condition, and Junior did a great job. And once again, back here, besides the little bit of snow that just fell in here, This back area came out very good as well. So the overall end result of this Kia Sorento is I am extremely impressed with the way it came out. When you open the doors on this thing, you would never know that it looks like this beforehand. And we did get a nice little dusting of snow last night, so that will likely melt off with the sun anyways. But uh, yesterday we woke up to a couple of inches of snow and it kept going and going and going and going. And what does that mean? Well, it meant we spent most of the day yesterday cleaning off our cars, getting them all moved around as usual. And uh, it was a really wet, heavy snow. So uh, it was hard to handle. Cars were getting stuck everywhere because most of these cars are sitting here with all season tires on them. And uh, it just makes it a little bit difficult to get things moving around. So we gave you the update on the 14 Sorento. Let's go inside and give you a couple of updates on some vehicles inside. So as you can see, we're still sitting on the 11 Jeep Compass and I really don't know why. I don't know where else you can go and get a 2011 four wheel drive with a brand new transmission, front and rear subframe and all the suspension components replaced and four brand new tires for $79.95. The only reason why it's in here today is because we went to go move this yesterday and the battery was weak. Someone had left a light on and caused the battery to drain. So we had to boost it, bring it in. So it's been on charge on a trickle charge here all night. And hopefully today, well, I should say hopefully, let's try it right now and see if she's gonna start. Shut that off. Well, the mileage is lit up. No problem at all. So guys, if you're in the local area of watching this video and you know where we are and you're interested in a small four wheel drive, let me know. We've got this one here that, again, I cannot believe it's still sitting here. We are open to offers. No reasonable offer will be refused and we're still gonna stand behind it with a 90 day warranty. The other little four wheel drive that we've been sitting on as we you know, plug away every time we get a few moments to get things worked on here is this 2010 
Mazda Tribute. Now, as you recall, the Mazda Tribute, we ended up having to put valves in it because it had a burnt valve and then it had a couple of other little issues that we've been just kind of tinkering away at. Yesterday, the serpentine belt kept popping itself off. And what the problem ended up being was this tensioner. And I'm not sure if the camera's doing it any justice, but if you notice way down here in the bottom, there's like very little gap and way up here, there's a lot. So whatever that pivots on in there is causing it to move when it's under load. So when you step on the gas, that tensioner would go like this. It was kind of twist off sideways. Therefore, the belt would catch the edge and snap it off. And as you can tell, it does have a new belt on it now, which means the new tensioner is on there. So that's just one more thing off the list for this Mazda Tribute. There's a couple little things left to do. We've got a couple suspension parts. We'll get it out for an alignment and then hopefully be able to stick it on the lot and get it ready for sale. And the old Toyota van, you see this sitting out back in a lot of our videos. And the reason why it sits out back is because this is almost like a company vehicle. The reason why it's a company vehicle is simply because it's cheap and it's super reliable. Because it's Toyota, this thing has 350,000 kilometers on it. And as you guys know, that's only about half of what it's capable of doing. If you remember my wife's van, the 06 Toyota Sienna, same year as this one, went well over 600,000 kilometers. This one, it's gonna do the same thing. We use it for when we buy cars at the auction, we can send a group of people to the auction to pick up those cars and it holds eight. And we've had it packed with eight people before uh, heading out to pick up some vehicles and drive them home. It is basic transportation, but it certainly does the trick for us uh, when it comes to people hauling. And we've also got a customer out there with a 2006 Dodge Ram, and that 2006 Dodge Ram, I believe, was the very first Dodge Ram we ever sold way back when we first got into business. Now, Donnie is a good friend of ours, and he's, you know, he's one of these guys who's retired, pops into the shop once in a while, hangs out, wanted to get these wheels, you know, kind of refreshed. So uh, Dad offered to uh, look after that for him. So Dad's got them all sanded up. Paint primed, painted, cleared, and looks like they're ready to roll. So this truck is going to be a brand new machine with these refinished wheels on. So we got one there and we got one there. And we had already done two of them last week. So guys, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed some of these little updates that I give. And I usually try and save these for at least one video a week to give you an update of what's going on with our vehicles and with some things around the shop. So don't forget that today, today is Thursday, is our live stream with my co-host, Straight Six Fan. And as always, I'll put his link up here in the cards. So you can go over to his channel, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure that you're able to set reminders for any of the live streams that he posts. So we co-share the uh, Car Guy and Six Fan show, and uh, this week it's on my channel. So tonight at nine o'clock local time, which is seven o'clock central, eight o'clock Eastern, you will be able to tune in and learn a little bit about the automotive YouTube industry, as well as car news, tips and tricks on our channels, as well as channel updates. And we even give shout outs to some lucky smaller channels. Grant and I right now are in the battle for 1000 subscribers. He's at about 912, I'm at 808. I am catching up very quickly, so hopefully I can get there before he does. Like I said before, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do it now and help the Canadians win. Come on, you know you want to. T-shirts and hoodies are on sale as always at the first link in the description box below, bonfire.com. There's a couple of different designs there and hopefully you can help support this channel in just one more fashion by supporting your very own old car auto guy gear. Also guys, it has been a absolute pleasure to be putting these videos together for you guys and having fun along the way. It's been a long journey trying to get to this 1,000 subscribers and I appreciate everybody who comments and my core group of guys who are there with every video and you know who you are. Thank you so much. Guys, I end every video with this. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you guys, God bless. Let's do it again in the next video. Summertime.